Hello YouTube world, this is Dantastic with Dantastic Doing Stuff, here to do a product review for you. Today I'm going to do a product review on three different products. Uh, all of them are for asphalt roofs, the mold that grows on them, and how to remove them. So you got mold, mildew, and algae all grow on top of the roof if it's in the shade and if you have water on it. Could be the north side of a house with a major slope or just shade over it, which was in my case shade. I had buyers who lived in there for a while, did not buy the house, and they did not trim the trees. So Old Dantastic got to take care of that problem. So I have three products I'm going to check out, hopefully save you time, money, and effort, energy on finding out which one you want to use for your house. I will say, a little bit of a spoiler, two of the products worked better than the last one. The last one did not work at all, and one of the first two was actually better than the other. So check it out. Hopefully save you time, hopefully save you money, and hopefully be able to help you. Fantastic. Watch and learn. Here's the reason for all that mold on that roof. Still wet. I just sprayed it. That's more of a two-man job to get these trees down, or branches down, I'm sorry. But over there, I can take that down by myself. Coming over here, I can clean all this up off this roof by myself. Shouldn't be an issue. Since I'm up here, kill two birds with one stone. Take care of this so that the next people won't have to deal with it. These are the three products I used on the house. The roof, uh, two of them, the first two I used on the house, and the last one I used on the barn. Out of the three, I believe this first one, the spray and walk away, that one seemed to work the best, but I did use this wet and forget as well on the roof, and it didn't have as good results, but it did do a little bit. Now this next one, the mold armor, that did nothing on the roof. It didn't help at all but it did help on the siding maybe I'll do a video for that I'm not sure here's a picture of the house it looks like they were growing grass up there it was rough uh, wasn't happy at all when I went up there I knew I had a lot of work so I started going through different products seeing what I could use what I couldn't use um, what would be the best one for something this bad I've never had to do one a roof this bad before so I wanted to try a couple different things. Maybe it'll help you out and uh, maybe save you some money along the way. That's what I'm hoping. So after I trimmed the trees, I did get some help up on that other tree. Uh, those were long branches. I needed help. I didn't want to want to fall on me or want to crash on the roof or make a hole or anything like that. So I did get some help there. Right here, you're looking at a picture of the roof after a week of the spray and walk away. So... It did make a difference. You could tell it killed a good amount of it. Not all of it because there was so much. Uh, it did kill the white algae. You got to kill that white algae or white mold, whatever that stuff is, because that grows roots into the shingles. And if you try to spray that off or scrub that off, it will damage your asphalt shingles. So make sure you at least spray, spray something on if it is this bad. If it's not that bad, you might be able to get away with it, but I wouldn't risk destroying your shingles over trying to save 15, 30 bucks. Overall, I spent about $100 on products on these roofs, uh, which isn't bad. It's definitely a lot cheaper than the alternative. You see right here, I'm rinsing it down first. All products are the same way. You rinse it down first, you get it wet first, and you should if you're trying to save any bushes below, any trees below, any flowers below, you should rinse those off with water, wet them down, and or cover them. Because these products will kill uh, things that you want, uh, shrubberies and all that that you want, as well as the mold and moss that you're trying to kill. My son was down on the ground cleaning up our mulch beds. The renters pretty much trashed them, had weeds and things growing up past my knees so we had a good amount of work down there and I did not kill care sorry if we killed anything down there because we had to pull it all up put plastic down and put more mulch down anyway and plant some new plants so you see here I'm soaking it getting wet starting from top to bottom 
uh, letting the water rinse down, making sure I have good footing, don't want to slip and fall. That is one of the things that may cause you to just hire someone to do this. I did save roughly 800 maybe between the two roofs, maybe a thousand dollars by doing it myself. Uh, but if I had a really steep roof, dangerous roof, roof I could get hurt on, it would have been worth me just paying the money. I lived in this house years ago, so I've been up on this roof hundreds of times, cleaning gutters, trimming trees, putting Christmas lights on, and all that. So this was an easy roof for me. But I'm rinsing it down, soaking it down. You can cover your gutters if you want to. I did not, because I was going to clean them out anyway. Uh, you don't want that mold, moss, algae to get down in your downspout, clog it. And if you have an underground gutter, you definitely don't want to clog that where you have to dig it up. So then you'll have a huge mess instead of just a bad roof. Nobody wants to start digging and putting new piping in. So I just, after I scrubbed it off, I just cleaned up the gutters. Um, you can cover them if you want to. That's not a big deal. But so after you soak it, soak it with just normal water. There is a setting on all of these containers, these product containers. One that will say water and one that will say product or soap or something along that nature for you to know that the actual product will start coming out. You'll see that in a little bit. The product comes out uh, white foam, so you cannot confuse it between the water and the foam. You'll know exactly where you put it and where you need to put it. This was about a four-week project for me. Like I told you, that I already put the product on that wet and forget. And a week later, I'm up on the roof again, putting the next product on. And it was, I think, about three weeks after this that I went back up there with the brush and the power washer. Right there's the knob I was just talking about. I'm about to start spraying the product out. You'll see the, the white soapy material come out it is not soap this is not stuff you'd want absorbing into your skin so if you get it on you like everything like everything every product you have out there whether killing weeds ants or whatever make sure you wash it off you spray it on just like that uh, like i told you i don't really care about anything below because i planted new new plants, new mulch, new everything. So I didn't really care about where it was going down below. Those thicker areas, like you see towards the right, lay it on real thick right there. Let that absorb into it, soak into it. I mean, lay it on thick like a politician during election year, lay it on thick. You got to try to kill that stuff. And it will take a lot. Like I said, I've had two applications on here and I still used a power washer and I still used the scrub brush. Now when you use a scrub brush, I don't have any video of that. Make sure you wear your mask, some sort of respirator, and do not scrub up. Scrub sideways or down. You don't want to tear your shingles. Um, I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, but like I told you, I saved a lot of money, but it was a lot of time and it was time consuming. It'll take you away from your hobbies, family, friends. You may have to take off work, so just kind of think about it that way. Is it worth worth it to you? For me, $800 was definitely worth it to me. I already, I already had to spend a lot of money on this house, getting it ready. I do apologize. I forgot to put the finished product on here after I went back up a few weeks later to power wash it, which took a while. Uh, I just forgot. I was busy trying to sell the house, get the last odds and ends done so that I could put it up on the market, make it look good for whoever buys it next, and I just completely forgot. But it did work. I sprayed these on. The wet and forget was the best. The second one was, I'm sorry, the spray and walk away was the best. Second best was the wet and forget, and the last was the green mold armor. Hope this Dan product review was helpful. Dantastic doing roofs. Dantastic hoping to help you out. Anyway, save some money, do it yourself. Or be safe and pay someone to do it. Get that mold off your roof. Save your shingles. Save the lifetime of the shingles. It'll help in the long run for sure. Fantastic. Fantastic doing stuff.